Okay, what's up guys, Kareka Jr. here. So today we will be seeing what's inside a USB modem. Last week I did a video about reviewing, I, I reviewed a um, USB modem and thought it would be good to see what's inside one of those. So I had this spare one, it's, it's an old one I, I got from a friend and uh, it didn't serve long so it's not going to damage it when we open it up because it's already damaged so you 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 should know that uh even if it's damaged like it doesn't work anymore the component setting is the same for all the modems so generally it's the same thing that you should be able to see in all the modems generally so let's get started so opening it up just pop that one open and as you can see on this lid they have um, those locks as you can see here these are the locks that enable this device to lock well and uh, yep and then we can put that one aside now we have this part i will not go over this one because i reviewed it in the other video you can go watch it to know what it's like in depth so we'll just pop this other one this other side here we'll just pop this other side here and as you can see, there are these holes here and uh, some pointing device like thing, as you can see. So these are the ones that are used to lock in the device so that it, it doesn't like move oftenly and even anything. So it is safe, you can see. Okay, that one aside, this is the casing. So when you open up both this one and this one, you will find this one in there and uh, it will not be hard to take this one out. So just pop this one out. a little hard using one hand as I'm filming with the other okay that wasn't too hard but as you can see it's consistent that most of the components of the others are just spaces to fit the components and others to hold it inside so generally that's it so there is now this is the modem so the components of these are all these others are coverings and everything but this is the real real modem so we'll start with this side so as you can see uh, there is this side that like it's covered so I don't know if we can pop this one out but it's it's intact so there we go with some you know components and everything as you can see so this side is not so important i think but let's see about this other side here so this is the side that has most components as you can see here if you can remember in the other video this is where you insert your uh, SIM card. So when you insert your SIM card, there are these three. They are not copper. I think it's copper or some kind of metal or anything. But its purpose, there are three on one side and three on this other side. So they are supposed to hold the... Let me bring it closer. There we go. 
as you can see they're supposed to hold the sim card and they will lock with the sim card uh, part that has the same material and that will be able to help this device to read the information that is on the sim card and generally that's the function and then as you can see it is mounted on other this socket board here i can call it the motherboard so which is we'll be able to relay information around it and hence connect with this one so this other part here is where you insert your um your, your, your memory card so it will be able to read the memory card and you can use the device as a as a, you know memory card like you insert your memory card there and you can use the device as a sd card or something like that so generally as you can see there is nothing like so fancy and everything so with this one this is the part where you connect the device with as you can see it is mounted and it is fixed on uh, this part here so there we go it is fixed on this section here so there it's it's like that so and uh yep and for this one it has this kind of special thing or anything it's like this is the old this is one of the old models they have this thing here like a hole or something like that it is connected to the socket board and uh it serves its purpose on the board generally that's it for this video and uh, those are these are all the components that are in this modem so as you can see these are the components that are inside the modem so nothing much just this one so these are all the components that work together to bring you like the connection that you use when you browse the internet send messages make some calls and yeah all those other things that you are capable of doing with a modem thank you guys for watching hope to see you in the next video peace out